hi everyone and welcome to beanie budgets this is a brand new channel um so please bear with me hopefully everything looks all right i've spent an absolute age on trying to set up this little stand that i bought from amazon it's a little flimsy so if it falls or if the angle changes halfway through it's because it's collapsed but we're gonna give it a go anyway so um a little bit about myself um i'm married um in my early 40s no children with a dog who <laughs> i've had to re-record this several times because he keeps woofing um but we will deal with it so if i cut away and come back it's because he's had a little hissy fit but he is currently on his bed now looking very cute so fingers crossed we will be all right so um where was i yeah we are tired of being in debt we are tired of living paycheck to paycheck um i've been consuming so many videos on budgeting cash stuffing in particular you guys seem like an absolutely lovely bunch of people and i want to kind of join the club i just think it's a really good idea um i've been cash stuffing now uh, since the beginning of the year um my first attempt at doing this video, I wasn't quite ready to post it. My head's been a little bit all over the place. I'm currently off work at the moment, but hopefully going back soon. Um, and I want to do this to hold myself and my husband accountable for how we are spending our money, how we're saving, how we're paying our, off our debt, etc, etc. So, um, yeah, that's us in a nutshell, essentially. Um, the way that our budgets work, so my husband gets paid on the 15th of every month and I get paid on the, around about the 24th of every month. So um, I'm not 100% sure if the 15th is going to be the first uh, date of our budgeting month or if the 24th is. You'll just have to bear with me just while I work this through because it's all still quite new to me. I'm probably going to use the wrong terminolo terminology rather can't even say the word um so please bear with me i am still learning but i am raring to go because i love it absolutely love it um i'm going to take you through my my binders you can see something quite exciting here first of all before i do that actually i'm going to take you through something very exciting got a little bit of happy mail uh, from Budget with Ped. I um, ordered some bits and pieces from their Etsy shop. I'll leave the link um, down below. Um, and I'm so excited. It looks so lovely. Thank you so much. Let's have a look. Because I don't have any challenges at the moment. Whoops. Oh, no. Lost the tiny dice. There we go. Sorry about that. Oh, isn't that cute? That's so sweet. It's lovely. Oh, excuse my nails, by the way. I do get them done, but um, they are due, but not for a little while, because I'm trying not to go too often because of money. Um, so just bear with me in the meantime. So, oh, we've got some little freebies. <gasps> Thank you so much. Little sticker. Trust the process. That's going to go on one of my binders. Thank you so much. <laughs> I like this one. This is definitely going on one, one of my binders. Do no harm, but take no shit. Excuse my French. Isn't that brilliant? Thank you so much. That's lovely. So I've got a few things here. I've got, oh, this is a little thank you card. Thank you so much for your order very welcome thank you so much for sending it in such lovely packaging and with these freebies as well oh there's a um an extra challenge oh amazing thank you i will leave their details below but budget with ped isn't that beautiful so this one's to save 40 pounds that is definitely going in one of my binders for sure so let's do that one last i've got uh the penny challenge so i'm currently doing this on a digital um sheet at the moment so i'm going to transfer this over 
this is where you can save uh, £670. Isn't that cool? Oh, lovely and reusable as well. So well made. Thank you. And then this one excites me because I do see this one on other channels as well. So this is the is it 292? 292. There's the, the giveaway. Um, so it's a dice challenge which comes with this awesome tiny dice. Isn't that cute? So what we're going to be doing is um, each week we get a um, an amount of money for us to spend and um, we can spend it on whatever we want. But what we'll do is we'll roll the dice and whatever the number lands on, that's going to be taken away from our spending money and um, put into a savings pot. I'm not 100% sure what that pot will go towards or if it will go towards debt payment or whatever, but I'm sure I'll figure it out and I will update you when I once I've worked it out. Thank you again. Really nicely made. Thank you so much. And then this one. I love this one. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? Hopefully you can see that. Can you see that? Cool. Carnival. And it comes with this dice. Um, so I guess, yeah, you roll the dice. And then if it lands on a yellow, it's 15. Blue, 20. Green, 10, etc, etc. That's so cool. I love it. And then I got the wallet as well to go with it to stuff the money in. It's amazing. Thank you so much, Budget Prepared. Really appreciate it. Love it. So good. I love these challenges. And this is part of the, the charm for me, essentially, because I don't know about you, but saving money, paying off debt, etc. It could be a bit dull if you're just doing it it works for some people it just doesn't work for me um and i love the fact that this kind of turns it into a bit of a hobby um so yeah i'm really pleased with those and looking forward to starting to use them so let's have a look i have i got this off of ebay um got it for a bit of a bargain to be honest with you i was ever so pleased um so it's the Saffiano. Um, I haven't really set it up yet. I'm going to pop some extra bits and pieces in here. At the moment, um, I've literally just opened this today, by the way. I've been using these two. So I need to separate my wallets out a little bit uh, with spending money, fuel, groceries, etc. So I know what I'm spending from because at the moment I'm having to keep a mental note, which isn't working. I do actually want to get a budget book as well. But at the moment, I'm using um, just a, a notepad. Um, and that seems to be working fine for me at the moment. But, um, yeah, I love it. Really nice. I could put my phone in there as well, which would be good. And then I've got my two wallets here. Um, I've got this lovely Filofax. Um, and this has got our weekly, monthly, I guess, short-term um uh envelopes wallets wallets that's the word i'm looking for apologies i am learning i will get there i promise you so uh what we do is on a weekly basis uh we put some money in here um sorry tell a lie on a monthly basis we put some money in here and then they get divvied out into each of these little folders i've got a little sticker machine so um i've been making these it's exciting so um every week we get 75 pounds for groceries <clears throat> i have actually already done a grocery shop this week so uh we've got 10 20 25 30 and some pennies left over um our week start on wednesday this month because that was when my husband got paid so these these days will change but i'll explain a bit more each time once uh once i get into the swing of things and if i get a proper routine i'll share that with you as well um we also stuff this one monthly actually household i'm not 100 percent sure how much to put in here so i'm kind of playing it by ear i put 40 pounds in for the month um and the month is ending on the 15th uh, this time round so this is for things like shower gels cleaning products household bits and pieces washing up etc 
Um, so we've got £15 left in there and that should be fine because we're pretty stocked up at the moment. Now, laundrette. We're saving for a new washer dryer. It absolutely carked it um, a little while ago. So we are having to go to the laundrette at the moment, which kind of sucks. Um, but I don't want to do a um, 0% finance pay over X amount of months. I want to save up and buy it outright because one of the things that we got quite complacent with was doing things on a monthly basis and then the bills just keep flooding in and so I just want to get it paid and uh, then we can forget about it. So uh, we've got some change in there at the moment that should last us another week or so so that should be fine. I won't count it up because it's going to be a bit noisy as well. So that's that. Then we've got um, wallet for our dog, our lovely little dog. Um, so he's got 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 42 pounds in there at the moment. So that will pay for his bulk food and anything else that he needs. Um, it also paid for his um, vaccination. So he had his annual one. Um, so that was good because I'd already saved up for it. So it didn't need to go on card, didn't need to get us into debt. So uh, yeah, really proud of ourselves for that which is cute. Um, <laughs> that's supposed to be a fuel pump. I will get some better stickers at one point. Uh, but, oh, have I done that? It's already open. So we've got £10 left. I think we're going to struggle a little bit. So um, I might need to pull some money from um, a buffer. And I think I've got another £10 in. Yeah, I've got £10 somewhere. So that will go into here just to last us. Um, I'm not using the car very much at the moment because I'm off. Um, but my husband will will need to fill up probably next week. But we should be all right. Um, I put some money aside each month um, to get my nails done. It's my treat. Um, and so I've got £30 in here, which I haven't spent yet. That will happen, I think, not next week, the week after. So actually, yeah, no, I'm going to be fine. I'm going to be fine for this month. Um, and then I need to get my hair cut as well. I was supposed to have it the weekend, um, but I just wasn't feeling it. I'm really struggling at the moment. I've, I'm off work, unfortunately, hoping to go back soon, but um, I just couldn't do it. So I, um, I cancelled and I'm doing it end of next week. So £35 towards that. And then I'm going to start saving to get my hair um, highlighted again, because I haven't had that done in a while. So that will be stuffed a bit more um treats so this is if we have a takeaway or a coffee out we've actually spent our money so uh, we won't be doing that again until the beginning of the next budget month and then i'm attempting <laughs> to make some um little wallets so um for week one week two etc uh week three has gone in there already and then next week that's our money for uh the following week and then we've got spending money in there as well. So that's our weekly slash monthly wallet. I mentioned just now that we're saving up for a washer dryer. Um, my little attempt at stickers. Good fun. I love it. So let's get these out. So we've got 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 192, 205. So we're getting there. It's going to take a little bit longer, but I feel good doing it this way. I know that we're spending money on the laundrette, but I'd rather do that than um, get ourselves into debt. So yeah, pleased about that. Uh, the one to five challenge, I'm actually going to change that to one to six so that we can use the, it's going to come out and it's going to be replaced by the carnival, uh, which is very exciting. So I'll put that in afterwards. 
um, birthdays. My husband's birthday is coming up. Um, I've already uh, bought him his main present and then we've got £30 left over. I'm going to pop a little bit more into there um, and then that will be a, a day out or no, something. Be nice. Um, Christmas. I have never saved up for Christmas so early. And I'm really pleased with this. So we, we're not big on... Um, buying loads and loads of gifts we don't have kids so uh, we don't have that expense um but i'd like to save around about 350 maybe 400 also saving um up vouchers on our uh store cards as well so that that will pay for our food uh so at the moment i've got 20 40 60 80 90 pounds so that's looking pretty healthy um and that will carry on and then um my goal for this year and i'll probably do a separate video on this is um to essentially have a month one month in advance i would love for us to basically have saved up enough money to pay all of our bills in january so that we essentially have then a, a spare pay pack in which we can then put towards savings or debt, etc. Um, I will take you through um, our debt in another video um, and what my plans are for saving all of this, these bits and pieces up. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to keep all of these wallets um, or if I'm going to change them up. But um, yeah, I'm going to have a think about it off camera and plan a little video and take you through it. So yeah. That is our medium to long term binder. Right. Um, I'm not going to do anything with those at the moment. I'm just going to stick those in there just in case we have a bit of a, an emergency and we need to use those in the before we get paid. But I will show you what we're doing for our 20p's. Let me just go and grab the, uh, the little saving jar. So, excuse the uh, the state of it. I'm going to make a little um, cover for it, but hopefully you can say, see this. So on the top, could you be the most beautiful 20p? We are a little bit daft. You will learn about us um, over time, um, but we sing that to the, uh, the tune of uh, by Prince. So stupid, but essentially my husband saves up all of, all of his 20 p's and then he puts it towards something. We recently cashed out the um, uh, the jar, uh, which uh, I think we had about 27 pounds and that's gonna pay for something that he's been saving up for. Um, he's really into his electronics and he needs some electronical electronical that's not even a word <laughs> electrical um bits and pieces so yeah uh he has uh put that to one side we've got that in a monzo account at the moment but we've actually already started to um put some more in which is good and then we've got a few more here but i do want to show you one of them and i'm hoping it's not too dark because it looks a bit dark here i'm really sorry hopefully you can see this um, otherwise, I'll show you in the next one. But can you see that? It looks like it hasn't been struck properly. So I'm going to keep that one to one side. Because um, I know that... Hopefully you can see that. Sorry, it's too dark. I will learn about lighting, I promise you. Um, I'll show you next time. But we've got 80p in um, 20p's. Which we've called... I've named it Plenty O20. So... That's the name of this challenge. Once it gets full or once my husband sees something that he wants to get, um, if we've got enough money, then this will go into the Monzo account and then he can spend what he wishes, essentially. So it's a bit more spending money for him. But um, yeah, the stuff that he does is a bit more expensive than like, my hobbies. So it's only fair, to be honest with you. But yeah, you will be seeing lots of Plenty O20, hopefully. But um, yeah, that is it, guys. I feel like I have mumbled all the way through. Hopefully, I've given you a good um, introduction. 
I'll probably watch it back, fill in the gaps um, in my next video. But the next video, I'll be taking you through our basically our debt and what our plan is to uh, to pay it off, but also some of our challenges around um, saving one month's worth of bills um, for January so that we don't have to pay for our electrics, um, gas, home, etc. insurance um, out of our salary and then we can shove it all into savings and into debt. Um, if we are still in debt, we would love to pay it off by the end of the year, but it's looking a little bit dicey at the moment. But hopefully we can pull it out of the bag. But um, yeah, before I carry on waffling anymore, um, I'm going to say goodbye. But I've, do you know what? I've loved doing this and I really hope to see some of you in the comments. If you would like to follow on my journey, please do hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Um, give us a thumbs up. Give us some feedback say hi and uh, yeah so thank you so much really appreciate it and i'll speak to you soon bye